We're calling upon the one who can make anything possible. The only, re the only reason sometimes that we don't achieve what we want to achieve or become the person that we want to be is because we have a limiting belief that we can't. And we also don't know who our Lord is and we doubt that he can. I need to change, and you need to change to a better, to a better, always try to increase your reward, always try to increase your reward of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, always make the shahada of your tongue, say always, la ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, la ilaha illallah, my brother and sister is not go back to the Bajit camp and build the tents again. What we try to do now, alhamdulillah, so those of you who are businessmen, you have to give zakat on your merchandise, on the things that you buy and you sell. As long as they say that an optional deed done in Ramadan is like an obligatory deed done outside of Ramadan. Allah, Allah. I bear witness, bear witness that Muhammad, that Muhammad is a messenger, a messenger, and a prophet, and a prophet of Allah. So we found the Raghat of Rahman, the characteristics of the slaves of the most beneficent, taken from the end of Surah Al Furqan. As I mentioned in those previous lectures that we discussed. Allah make us an Imam over the Muttaqeen. What a person is saying is, Oh Allah, give us sabr and give us yaqeen. Because when you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for something, then you are asking Him for everything which is an avenue to that thing. So for example, when Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we know he himself was someone who was a visionary. He had a vision. He told the Sahaba that this deen and Islam, it will enter every single household. Even so much that there be a house from mud or straw. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has already told us that none of our deeds will be lost and he's given us a hidden moving target. We also know that actions are but by intentions and we will get what we intended. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said the poor person will enter Jannah 500 years before the rich person enters before the rich person enters. You've got all that. It's in the Quran to give a charity secretly and openly. And the scholars said, openly to encourage one another. We are encouraged by Allah to donate. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will honor those people of Islam and he will disgrace those people of Kufr. Look at the vision that he set out. When he had only a handful of followers, he was being persecuted. 
by his own people. But look at the vision that he had for himself and for his own. And the Muslims, whether with a smile, whether with the words, a helping hand, enjoying the good, forbidding the evil, helping them with money, any kind of assistance.